Hello, welcome back to PowerShell for Pen Testers. In this lesson, we're going to briefly cover how to get your Active Directory controller set up on your Windows Server 2019 device. So first we need to hit our server manager here and we want to click on configure this local server. We're just going to make some quality of life changes quick. So here where it says IE enhanced security configuration, you want to set all of these to off. That's going to allow you to use Internet Explorer to do some downloads. Otherwise, it's just really a pain in the butt. So um, this is going to be a bit difficult to see because we're not going to be able to increase the size much. But what we need to do is just go to my GitHub page. So that's going to be github.com, divas, and then PowerShell for pen testers. Hit enter. And we need to download this repository. So just click on code. And we might need a different browser. I'm not sure why this isn't loading. So because of this, let's just hit Firefox really quick. We'll just search Firefox uh, and we will download Firefox and download Firefox again. And hopefully once this downloads, we can click run and it really doesn't take very long. So I'm not even going to cut the video out here. So um, if you're having any issues with installation or anything, make sure you check back with the lab guide. Uh, really is just going to cover all the, the nitty gritty details such as uh, especially with um, your internet or your ethernet adapters. You have to make sure that you're using that NAT network uh, as prescribed. So as you can see we installed Firefox really really quickly and we'll just go ahead and use this now. So uh, we'll go to github.com Divas PowerShell for pen testers. And we'll try this again. If you get any pop ups, just click OK. It doesn't matter. We're going to go to download zip and just click save. And then just click on the download thing and drag it over to your desktop if you can drag it. Uh, if it's not allowing you to drag, just go ahead and click the folder button and drag it that way. We should be done with our browser now, so you can close all of that. And then just extract this uh, folder in the contents. Now I'm going to drag the main folder out and just delete the, um, the version sitting there. And now let's go ahead and just look at the contents really quick. You'll see we have the AD generator, the force deploy, and the name PC. Uh, what we're going to use here is invoke force deploy. So we need to get PowerShell. So let's go ahead and uh, run this as an administrator. And while we're here, I want you to create your own uh, local administrator account. So me, I'm going to use the mayor. So we'll do net user the mayor one two three add. Now we'll do net local group administrators the mayor add. Okay. Now we're going to cd to our desktop, and we're going to go to uh, that folder. So uh, from here we need to set our execution policy to unrestricted uh, so that we can run unrestricted commands uh, with PowerShell. So we'll just say yes to all. And then if we ls we can see invoke force deploy. We want to import that so we'll do invoke force deploy. We'll say run once. And then our next order of business here is to invoke force deploy. And then we want to do domain name mayorsec.local and hit enter. This is going to run um, the domain deployment script that I've generated, which is going to install Active Directory domain services on the machine. And it's going to generate the Active Directory environment itself with the domain name of mayorsec.local. So uh, we'll let this pan out and start running, and then we'll click away. Uh, and then I'll join you at the next step. So I'll see you over there. Okay, and here we are, it's asking for a safe mode administrator password. I'm just going to put in whatever the password was that I generated for the administrator and for my mayor, the mayor account. So in this case, I think it's just password123 exclamation mark. You can use whatever you want, but just make sure that you remember what it is. I'm going to click yes to all, and then you're going to see some yellow messages pop up here while the ADDS force installs. Um, don't worry about these. Uh, there's no worries or issues with... Uh, this output and everything should install without issue. Uh, and then here in a moment, we should see uh, that everything is installed properly and that it'll ask for a restart. 
and I will see you over there once that happens. Okay, and here we are. Uh, as you can see, we're about to be signed out. Uh, we have success here that tells us our domain controller was promoted and that it needs to be restarted. So go ahead and restart, and I'll see you over in the next lesson when we talk about the AD generator.